we've been talking about electrons and ions. In this part, we'll revise what electrons and ions are and how they relate to electric current and wires. Let's start with the idea of atoms. Everything is made from atoms. In between the atoms is just empty space. The atoms themselves are also mostly empty space, with a tiny, dense nucleus in the middle, made up of positively charged particles called protons, and particles with no electric charge called neutrons. If an atom were the size of a sports stadium, the nucleus would be about the size of an orange. Moving around the nucleus are tiny, fast-moving electrons. Electrons behave in strange ways, and we sometimes think of them as being a sort of cloud rather than a point. The electrons all have a negative charge. In a neutral atom, the number of positive protons exactly balances the number of negative electrons, and so overall, the atom has no electric charge. In metals, one or two of the outermost electrons are only very weakly attracted to the nucleus of each metal atom. One or two electrons float away from their atom and wander around randomly. Because the atom has now lost some negative charge, it's left with an overall positive charge. We say the neutral atom has become a positive ion. All the positive metal ions form a sort of fixed scaffolding, which is normally called a lattice, with a sea of negative electrons floating in the empty space between them. When the metal wire is part of an electric circuit, the electrons start moving along the wire, and as they move, they collide with the metal ions and bounce about. The electrons start moving everywhere in the circuit at the same time. The electrons are already there as part of the wires. They don't start flowing from the battery through empty wires. It's like this bicycle wheel. There's no part that starts moving first.